Today we'll be having a look at the Optronics Rectangular Submersible Trailer Tail and License Light for the left hand side for over 80 inch trailers. Part number ST27RPG. Also available for the right hand side as part number ST26RPG. Here's what our light looks like installed. As you can see, even in the daylight, even with having an incandescent bulb, our brake lights are still very bright. This light is a great replacement solution for those of you that have boat trailers that are over 80 inches wide. The reason this is a great replacement for boat trailers is that this is a submersible assembly. So when you back your trailer into the water to unload your boat, you don't have to worry about water getting inside here causing shorts or corrosion and your light's not working properly. What's great about this light with its simple three wire system is that not only will it function for our tail lights like we have right now, but it'll also do our left turn signal and our brake lights, as well as being able to cover our license plate with illumination due to its clear bottom. As well as having our turn signals, our tail lights, our brake light, and our license plate light, we also get a side marker here from the second bulb that's in the system. With this assembly, we also have reflective capabilities on the back and again on the side. Now when it comes time to replace our bulbs inside the assembly in case they burn out, it's easy to do we can easily remove the lens and replace the two bulbs inside. If we ever need to, this lens is replaceable in case of damage. Inside of our assembly, we have shockproof sockets, which will help ensure long bulb life. Our light is easily mountable with the industry standard two inch centers. Now for a few measurements to better assist you and see if this is gonna fit your trailer. At its widest point, our light is eight and one sixteenths of an inch wide. At its tallest point, it is two and seven eighths of an inch tall. As far as depth, at its deepest point, it is two and 13 sixteenths of an inch deep. What many of our customers like about this light assembly is that it is a direct replacement and works great with their older trailers. It matches what came on them from the factory perfectly. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. So to begin our install, we first need to remove our old damaged light. So on the back side of our lamp assembly where it attaches to our trailer, we'll find our two mounting studs and our 7 16 nuts, which secure into place. We'll remove the old nuts. Okay, with the nuts removed, we can now grab the light assembly and pull it away from our trailer. Okay, now we have these two wires right here. We have the yellow and the brown. We're gonna cut these away from the old light. And we can discard the light now. Okay, our light has this quick disconnect plug here. However, our trailer is currently not equipped with that. You can pick up a matching end on our website, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off that plug and make our connections directly with some heat treat butt connectors. So we'll strip off insulation from both ends. And we'll take some 14 to 16 gauge heat shrink butt connectors, which we have available on our website, and we'll crimp these into place. With those crimped onto our trailer end, we'll now match up our colors from our light. So the brown wire will go to the brown wire, and the yellow wire will go to the yellow. The brown wire is for our tail light and running light signal, and the yellow wire, that is for our left brake light and left turn signal. And here's what it looks like if our wires crimped in place. Okay, we went ahead and used a heat gun to shrink down our butt connectors. You can pick up a heat gun on our website to do the same. You'll want to use a heat gun over a lighter or a source of open flame because a heat gun will provide indirect heat and won't damage the connector. Now this light does come with new studs and we'll use those. We'll match up where they were on our old light assembly so we'll be using the one that will be closest to our trailer and then the one in the middle depending on your application you may have to use this outer one 
And the outer one you can tell is because it has the reflector side there and the inner side, well, it's just black. Okay, now we'll take our white wire, which is our ground wire, and we'll push it into the small gap right here. And we'll place it over the stud there. We'll also make sure our other wires go through those gaps as well. These will just keep our wires from getting pinched by going those grooves. The yellow and the brown wire will go out through this gap in the side here. Okay, so we'll place our wires inside our frame now. And we'll work our light assembly over to its proper position. With our light now in place properly, we'll take our new nuts and install them on the studs. Now we'll tighten them down. And that completes our look at the Optronics Rectangular Submersible Trailer Tail and License Light for over 80 inch trailers, part number ST27RPG. Thanks for watching and click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.